by popular demand. Ken Drossfield, I believe, is your last name. I always know you by Ken. Um, I'm thinking this is what you meant. So, when you said sounds like a plan, I took it as go here. So, I'm going to be getting in the water under that boulder today, that big, huge monster. Let's see what we can find down there. We brought a bunch of stuff in. Got the suction hand dredge, the bucket that goes with it, the tube, the tips, a few shovels, hung stuff, my stuff. Eha. He gave a hungry pot to get on. <laughs> we had fun. We had the portage in one spot. <laughs> All right. So, I'm having this deep wheelbarrow that worked out. It's not in very good shape, but hey, it worked out pretty good. My uh, wetsuit, towel, hood. I'm gonna rock the 23-inch uh, pay streak finder today if I collect material. Got my dive hookah and line and mask and batteries. <laughs> coffee, wetsuit, shoes, tripod, 40 pounds of dive weight should be good enough I hope and uh, let's go. Let's get her done.
As you can see, I got down in there. I don't see a whole lot for black sand. I did see some. I don't know if you could see it on on the underwater camera, but that last little pocket I was fanning out, I did see some black sand in there. No visible gold. Of course, the smaller gold might be kind of hard to see. I don't know. But I did gather about a half gallon, a half five gallon bucket of material. I figure I'll. Uh, Maybe try to find a spot up here to set the pay streak finder up, run that material and check it. Somewhere here. I'll figure it out. So, we'll see what happens. Back in a bit.
so down there it's not real real fine black sand and it's not real real coarse but it is coarse and there was out of what I pulled probably a 50 mesh piece and a 100 mesh piece so I mean there is gold down there but that's not the nugget I was hoping for <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to, you, in one of my other videos, a couple of my other videos, you saw Hung and I working in all of these bigger rocks here all along this section. Well, as you can see, this is, this is a pretty good drop zone. You got elevation there that drops and then it levels off. So all of this is, you know, a pretty much a good drop zone. So I think what I'm going to do is try to work in these boulders out here in the water further out from where we've worked before I'll move some of these and see what comes of it I'll do some test pans first and if it tests positive I'll bring material to the gold trap and run it back in a bit it was two pieces under that I did out in the water a little bit further like I said and I got three there and then I came up here and this was all filled with material you can see the line where the material was all the way through here I cleaned that out got 28 pieces out of this so now I'm gonna come up here And check this little pocket area right here, I guess. See what happens here. It's gonna be really bony. But what I just showed you over there, that was really pretty coarse black sand. So when I was panning it, I had high hopes. But hey, 28 pieces. There was about three quarters of a five gallon bucket. I had my gold trap set up up there in the current and ran that. But we shall see. We've dug this before all through here. And along here we've dug. So Hung's panning away. She doesn't know how much she has right now, but we'll find out. She's probably gonna beat me today. <laughs> Alright, get back in a bit. Ooh, there's a big one down there. In every single one of these rocks because you never know. See a lot of people classify their material and never even bother to look. They just pick up the classifier and throw it. Well, not the classifier, but the stones in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> The art of totally cleaning your gold in the pan. Been working on it for years. Huh. 
19 pieces in those two pans. Some really tiny stuff. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. I'll attempt to show you what little bit I got at the end of the day. Catch you in a bit. All right, last hole I dug out right there. I thought for sure that there would be something decent there as far as size goes, but nope. There was about four or five pieces in that. So all in all, I got about 45, 50 pieces today. Nothing spectacular. Come on. And we'd show you hungs, but Charity cleaned it up and put it in her snuffer bottle. But I can tell you this, she handed it to me today. She probably got about twice as much as I did. <laughs> but she was straight up hardcore panning the whole time we were here. All right, folks. I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Catch you on the next one.